Sean Keyes. Uh, I'm an American poet. I've been living in uh, Vilnius for 17 years. Uh, 15 years in the uh, former Jewish ghetto on what is now Zemaitiu Street. It was formerly Strasen Street. And my uh, apartment, which is on the top, looks out towards, well, it's back in, but it looks in the direction of Strachan, uh, where uh, the former Jewish library was moved. Lots of the books were moved from the Strachan library there, and it became also a center there. And I often sit on the balcony, and I've written some poems from the meditations there. One that was written a long time ago. I'll read two poems. It's called Blue Sky. Blue sky in the Vilnius ghetto, the balcony facing the northern light. Crows call outside the window as the stars start to stagnate into a septic clarity of polluted light. Could one grab a beak to dig the dark out of the graves, a feather to row across the red, a blueprint? to match the eyes. Oh, may your lips never read the blood they tread on mine. And so I turn to the disquieting book so annoying, but framing every vision on this urban perch in this chosen land. Poor Pessoa, one reads as one might read the works of a disconsolate water bug confined by timidity to the corner of a kitchen, spending a lifetime telling us how not to live. And yet, the distant bird nest in the leafless winter lilac. Days so short now. I should be bathing in sugarcane in Brazil and not here with so many wingless dreams battered by a cold, faceless wind, bread and salt, useless tokens. The song, as all songs, an illusion, as the ripples disappear into silence. Not a water bug nor a transcribed cockroach these days. I'm just a customs clerk. And this frightens me, waking up almost inhuman with the window strangely open. And I drink my glass of water, calculate the level of mercury, and listen to the crying giving life to my poem as they drag them on a beautiful blue day like today down the alleys, into the forests, and into the trains. And Another poem more recently, not in a collection. It's called Reading and Writing Chronicle. Uh, outside the balcony is this huge wall, very tall bricks, that I call the Wailing Wall. Reading and Writing Chronicle. Set this down. Sunset on deck. No stars yet. Crows in silhouette against antenna, chimneys, brick. Last twittering flit, <coughs> swallows. A solitary bat perching on the ledge of his domicile in the ghetto wall. Its ancestors and their ancestors perched there. I turn the page. Not a solitary Jew on any balcony nearby. It's not cold, but already a braid of smoke rises in a steady stream from a neighbor's stove into the sky. I turn another page. <coughs> Only last week I saw a piece of charred wood in the courtyard below, and for a split second took it for a dead crow. The sun sets. I lay the book down, a first star, Another, the braid of smoke about to disappear 
It's darker now. For the moment, history is a closed book. Tomorrow the sun will come up and similar shadows, silhouettes, another poet to rewrite it, another page, a different book. Thank you.